Let's look at how to solve factorial or calculate factorial in Python using a recursive approach. So first of all, I'm going to create a file. So this file is going to be called factorial.py. And I'm going to go ahead and edit it with notepad++. So the first thing I want to do is get a number that I'm going to calculate factorial on. So I'll do an import sys. So that'll get it, allow me to get it from the command line. And I'm going to write a function. Um, factorial is defined as, so if I do 4 factorial, is going to be equal to 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. So you'll see that um, because 4 factorial, is equal to 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. 3 factorial is actually equal to 3 times 2 times 1. And 2 factorial is equal to 2 times 1. And then 1 factorial is equal to, well, 1. Which means we can define our function for factorial in, in more of a recursive style. So I do def factorial. Pass in some number. And the way you tend to do a recursive style is you write first a base case. And then you do your recursive case. All right. So what is my base case? Well, the base case is when you get down to the very end, one factorial is equal to, well, one. So if num equals one, return one and then my recursive case is going to be adding on that that's the inductive piece so if or maybe not even an if i can just do a return num times and then call myself factorial of num minus one so what does that do if i were to go in there and call factorial of one it will return one that's good now if i did two factorial what does it do it goes in here and it would say well it's not one I need to put a little colon there it's not one so we are now going to do the recursive or inductive case we're going to do num which is two times factorial of num minus one, which is one. And factorial of one will return one, and then it'll be two times one, so we we'll return two times one. So what's happening is this function is being called by itself. And that's what recursion is all about. So I've got my in number, and I want to do some kind of checks here to verify it's valid, but we're not going to do that right now. So we're going to receive our number, and then we're going to calculate a result. And that's going to be factorial of my n num. All right. Then I can display the results. And I'll do a print statement here. And I'll do percent %d exclamation point equals percent %d. And then I will put my in num here and result there. So this should calculate out factorial and display the results. So let's go ahead and save that. And then we will go ahead and run it. So we got to go to the directory it's in. I can copy this, go to a command prompt, cd into that current directory, even though I'm already there. Do a directory listing. I can see there's factorial here, and I'm going to run factorial. Factorial and pass it in number four, which is four times three times two times one, which is 24. I could do factorial of five, which would be 120. And you can see that it is working. So this is how you calculate factorial using a recursive approach.